Have you ever stood in the hushed halls of a grand library, surrounded by countless stories and volumes, and imagined a world where such treasures have vanished? Not burned, not simply misplaced, but silenced by the relentless march of time. What if I told you that beneath our feet, buried within the dust of forgotten empires, lie the remnants of these silent libraries, waiting for us to piece their stories back together? Welcome, fellow seekers of hidden knowledge, to the Unzipped Library. Today, we're not just opening books, we're excavating the very idea of the library itself. For millennia, humanity has strived to collect, organize, and preserve its collective wisdom. From clay tablets to papyrus scrolls, these repositories of knowledge were the powerhouses of their age. But what happens when these centers of learning are lost? When fire, war, or the slow decay of centuries erases them from the landscape? The answer, my friends, lies in the painstaking work of archaeology. Think of the legendary Library of Alexandria. Its very name conjures images of endless shelves brimming with the accumulated knowledge of the ancient world. While the exact details of its demise remain shrouded in mystery, its loss represents a monumental blow to our understanding of history. Imagine the philosophical debates, the scientific breakthroughs, the literary masterpieces that once resided within its walls, now only echoes in fragmented texts and historical accounts. But Alexandria is just one example. Consider the libraries of the Mayan civilization. Their intricate codices burned by zealous conquerors, leaving behind only tantalizing glyphs etched in stone. The House of Wisdom in Baghdad a beacon of intellectualism during the Islamic Golden Age, had vast collections scattered and destroyed during Mongol invasions. These silent libraries whisper tales of intellectual ambition and the fragility of human knowledge. This is where archaeology steps in, acting as the ultimate detective of the past. Every shard of pottery, every inscription on a crumbling wall, Every carefully unearthed tablet can be a clue in reconstructing these lost centers of learning. Imagine excavating a site and uncovering rows of carefully organized niches, the telltale signs of a library's structure, or the thrill of finding fragments of clay tablets, piecing them together like an ancient jigsaw puzzle to reveal forgotten myths, historical records, or even early forms of scientific inquiry. Let's delve into a concrete example. In the ancient lands of Mesopotamia, archaeologists have unearthed tens of thousands of clay tablets, many from what we can identify as ancient libraries. The library of Ashurbanipal in Nineveh, for instance, contained a vast collection of texts, meticulously catalogued and organized. These tablets, preserved by the very fires that destroyed the city, offer us an unparalleled glimpse into the knowledge of the Assyrian Empire. Their literature, their religious beliefs, their understanding of astronomy and mathematics. Each tablet, once held in the hand of an ancient scholar, now speaks to us across the millennia, a testament to the power of the written word and the resilience of knowledge. Another fascinating case is the Villa of the Papyri in Herculaneum, a Roman city buried by the eruption of Mount Vesuvius. Here, archaeologists discovered an entire library preserved under layers of volcanic ash. While the fragile papyrus scrolls are incredibly challenging to unroll and read, the efforts to do so are slowly revealing lost works of philosophy, literature, and science from the Roman world. Imagine the excitement of potentially uncovering previously unknown writings by famous thinkers or poets. A direct connection to the intellectual life of antiquity, rescued from the silence of volcanic ash. Reconstructing these silent libraries is not without its challenges. Fragments are often incomplete, languages can be undeciphered, and the original context of a find can be difficult to determine. Yet, with every new discovery, 
With every successful decipherment, we gain a deeper appreciation for the intellectual achievements of past civilizations. We begin to understand what they valued, what they feared, and what they sought to preserve for future generations. Why is this journey into silent libraries important in our modern world? Because it reminds us that the pursuit of knowledge is a timeless human endeavor. It highlights the importance of preserving our own libraries and archives, both physical and digital. And it underscores the incredible power of archaeology to bring the voices of the past back to life, to unzip the secrets that time has tried to bury. So the next time you visit a museum and see a display of ancient tablets or scrolls, remember that you're looking at fragments of a silent library a testament to the enduring human quest for understanding. What other lost knowledge do you think archaeology might one day reveal? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this exploration into the unzipped library, be sure to like this video and subscribe for more journeys into the fascinating world of history and ancient mysteries.